It looks as if they're waking up, Topaz. It really is unfortunate that this isn't a Connie or a Sadie or any of the human variations we're looking for. But maybe, just maybe, Topaz, this one can help us find them. What do you say? Shall we be straight to the point or toy with our little friend? <laughs> I can't say that I'm feeling very generous, poor thing. And now, Topaz, why don't you go make yourself useful and guard the door? I want to have a little one-on-one -on -one session with them. I'll call to you if I need any assistance in convincing them to cooperate. Go on now. Go on, you silly thing. Go on. Go on. <laughs> <clears throat> and now then. Hello? Hello? Oh, feeling a little groggy, are we? That's too bad. But you really only have yourself to blame. Trying to fight off Topaz was such a dim-witted idea. Lesson learned. <laughs> you earthlings aren't the brightest beings in the cosmos, are you? Tut, tut, so primal. Not the type for a simple and calm conversation, which is why I had to restrain you in this chair. For your own safety, of course. I need you unharmed and alive. For now. Do you remember what I asked when we first met? That's right! I was trying to find my dad, Connie, Sadie, etc. And do you remember how you responded? You refused to tell me anything. Which seems as if you know quite a lot. I don't believe I asked really. I don't remember forcing the information out of you. And yet you still took this animalistic approach. So defensive. And now where are you? In a dark room, being interrogated. <laughs> I would have just answered my questions the first time around. I bet you're thinking the same now. But this doesn't have to be so painful, you know. I'm giving you a second chance despite how I feel about you. You should be very grateful. Here, let's start all over again, shall we? Ahem. <clears throat> Are you my dad? I need to find my dad. No. Oh, all right. Are you Connie? No. Hmm. Okay then. Do you know where I can find my dad? I said, do you know where I can find my dad? Hmm, the silent treatment, is it? Where is Connie? Where is Lars? Sadie? A mailman? An onion, I think. Just so you know, I am very unimpressed with this and losing my patience. If you don't tell me where they are, I'm going to use plan ASMR. It is a type of torture I know you won't be able to withstand. Can't you see that the only way you're going to survive this meeting is if you answer these very simple questions? Fine. You asked for this, you poor simple creature. You asked for this like you asked for that beating from Topaz.
done with this tough guy act. Tell me where my dad is. Very well then. Resisting is futile. Eventually, you will break, and I can finally leave this miserable planet. Can't you see that you're making this unnecessarily harder on yourself? What happens when you've reached your breaking point? What do all these jingles do to you?
you really think I would let you off so easily? Now you've annoyed me. I'm not sorry it had to come to this. Topaz! Topaz, unfuse. I'm going to need the both of you for this. The chances are very slim that you'll survive the tingling sensation. But now you've got to be asking yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Helpless. 
This idiotic creature is far too stupid to feel the magnitude of tingles it's receiving. What a colossal waste of time. I'm starting to think that you refuse to tell us anything because you don't know anything at all. Well, I'm sick and tired of looking at your face and getting nowhere. Topaz, toss this useless thing outside. We've no use for them any longer. Yes, yes, run away, pathetic creature. No one will believe what you have to say anyway. Oh, I hate this planet, and how I hate the earthly... Topaz, did you see that? What was it? What was it they were sporting on that? Was that a gem?